Welcome to the third video in Scholar Hall Education uh, with relation to the scales problem. So, I'm dedicating a whole video to this small change function simply because I know I really want to make sure that we all get this right. Small change is like we mentioned before, what we're going to be doing is creating a binary string, assessing its fitness, then creating a small change within our optimization function to assess whether the small change gives us a value which is better, which has a better fitness than our previous binary value. So, if we go to our scale solution, we're going to need to create a whole new method which assesses this small change. So just so I can give you a spec of what this small change is going to be, so you guys can um, try and do it yourselves. And uh, then what I'll do is I'll uh, show you the solution. So what the small change is going to do is it's going to randomly um, uh, get a value within the binary string and it's going to swap it from a 1 to a 0 or a 0 to a 1. What does this mean? This means that you've got to retrieve a random value within that binary string. You can't get just a predetermined one. You have to create a random uh, pick of uh, a character within that binary string and you have to change it from 1 to a 0 or a 0 to a 1. So I'm going to give you a little bit of time to do that, so just pause the video and I'll be right back with the answer. Right, I hope you guys got on with that uh, pretty well. Um, there are a few ways of going about doing this. I just prefer this as it allows me to uh, see, observe and abstract the problem down quite well. Uh, what I've done is I've got the length of our string, of our binary string, um, I've called the CS2004 method um, to create a random integer between 0 and the length minus 1. So that's for the index uh, purposes. And I've created a blank string called new string. So what I've done is for i going from 0 to x minus 1, i.e. our randomly created value within our binary string. So let's say x, the value of x could be if the length of our binary string was 6 over here, right, or now 7, um, sorry, over here, it's, uh, well, now it's, let's go back to 6, it's 6, this randomly created value right here could be 4, right, so if it's 4, it's going to grab the fourth element, 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's going to change that from a 1 to a 0, right, but right now what I'm doing is I'm getting that value minus 1, so j the value just before it, right, and we're saying for i to the value just before, for 0 to the just the value before the value we need to change, we're going to get the characters in the string at the value i and print them into our new string. Right, so we're just taking the values from our binary string and planting them into our new string. Then we're saying the character at p, right, i.e. the character at the one that needs to be changed, right, so the character at x, if it's 0, we make it a 1, otherwise we make it a 0. So if it's a 1, we then make it a 0. And then for the remaining part of the string, so from the uh, value just after the x index to the end of the string, we're just going to print all the values into our empty string, and then we're going to make our binary string equals to this new string that we've created. And that is exactly how the, f uh, how the small change works. So I hope you were successful in creating that. Um, uh, otherwise, just have a look at the code and just do your best to understand it.